You just bought RimWorld. It's your very first day, and you probably feel that RimWorld is massive and overly complicated and, frankly, intimidating, and you're right. RimWorld is an incredibly complex game with a deliberately obtuse tutorial that largely sets you up for failure. My first colony burned down in flames. My second colony was destroyed by Angry Muffalo. You will likely fare no better, but there are some things you can do getting started to set yourself up for success. Let's talk about choosing colonists. Now, this presumes that, as it's your first day, you will be playing on Crash Land, the classic RimWorld experience, and definitely the suggested place to start. This is going to give you three initial colonists. This also presumes that you're using either Cassandra Classic or Phoebe Chillax as your AI storytellers. Both of those are great for starting players. If you're using Randy Random, you're on your own, kid. I got nothing for you. It also presumes that you're on Adventure Story or below as your setting. Again, great for newcomers. And as this is your first day, we're going to keep it super simple on Colonist Choice. We're not going to dive very deep into a lot of this. Get used to the Randomize button. You're going to be hitting that a lot in the next few minutes. First thing you want to see with all of your colonists is this. Incapable of none. They will do any task, even if they don't like it or they're not good at it, they will still do it. They will not refuse to do anything. My first colony burned down because I thought it was a great idea to have a colonist who is incapable of fighting fires. Colonist skills, there's 12 of them, ranking from 0 to 20. So 0 is terrible, 10 is average, and 20 is fantastic. Those little flames you see, that means they really enjoy doing it. They have a passion for it. That means they'll get better at it faster, and they'll enjoy it more. Now, I'm going to be a little controversial and say that only about half of these skills are useful in your first few seasons in RimWorld. First things first, get yourself at least one colonist with a construction skill of five or higher. Minimum construction skill of five. You need five to build a cooler. If you can't build a cooler, you can't build a freezer. If you can't build a freezer, you can't store food for long periods of time. And if you can't do that, you're not going to survive for very long. Next thing you want, try to find a colonist with a plant skill of at least eight or higher. That will allow you to grow your own heal root. Heal root becomes herbal medicine. Herbal medicine is the first medicine you'll be able to create by yourself. Now you can go out and harvest wild healed root on the map but it's going to be a lot easier if you can do it at your own base. Get yourself a decent doctor. One of your starting colonists should have a high medical skill. I try to shoot for at least eight or higher. And then when you've got that one, get another one. Have at least two colonists that have a solid medical skill, so when your doctor is injured, you've got a backup doctor. Social often gets overlooked, but this is how you're going to convert prisoners into members of your own colony, and that's a really easy way to gain new colonists, so try to find someone with a semi-decent social skill starting out. Cooking. Higher the better. Make sure you've got a decent chef on board when that ship crashes. Higher cooking skill means less chance of food poisoning. Food poisoning is bad. It makes everyone slow and miserable and caked in vomit. Not a phrase I thought I'd say when I woke up this morning. And finally, intellectual. You're going to want to get research started as soon as you can. It won't be on your first day, but it will be reasonably soon. So make sure you've got someone with a decent brain in their head. But Dave, what about combat skills? You're completely ignoring combat skills. I'm not actually as fussed about them in my initial colonists. So long as I've got people who can vaguely point a rifle in the right direction, I'm pretty happy with that. Although I do try to make at least one of my colonists have a decent shooting skill. Skills you can somewhat back burner, at least in the early days. Mining, animals, crafting, and artistic. Now, all of those skills are quite valuable. They're just not going to be as valuable as, say, cooking or medical. You know, eating and staying alive. A few quick words on your starting colonist's health conditions. You're going to be hard-pressed to get anyone in here who doesn't have something wrong with them. It's rare to see no health conditions. But some are better than others, and some are definitely worse than others. The last thing you want to see with any starting colonist is an addiction. Refuse that at all costs. They're going to be miserable and prone to psychotic breaks on a daily basis. It may surprise people to know that crash landing on an alien planet with a drug addict in withdrawal makes for some rather sad times around the old colony. 
Keep half an eye on people's ages and be conscious of the fact that the older they get, the more likely they are to incur health problems, glaucoma, heart condition, bad back, even dementia. Not the things you want to be dealing with in your first year. Let's talk traits. There's a heck of a lot of them. Honestly, I could do another hour just going through each and every trait in RimWorld, but there are some just for me that I consider better or worse than others. Traits that I try to avoid, if at all humanly possible, in my new colonists. Greedy. Chemical interest. Pyromaniac. Sickly. Cannibal. Psychically sensitive. Tortured artist. Brawler. Psychically hypersensitive. And nudist. Traits I am always happy to take in a colonist. Body modder. Fast walker. Psychically deaf. Teetotaler. Ascetic. And super immune. Ultimately though, you pick the traits that you like. They are very self-explanatory, very clear in what they do or don't do. It's really up to you in that regard. Those are just some suggestions. Now the chances of you getting all of those ideas together in three colonists is slim to none. You're going to have to make some sacrifices somewhere, there's going to be some give and take, and you're going to have to take some bad with some good. And ultimately these are just suggestions, things that I think will help you if you've never played RimWorld before and you're a little befuddled as to how to choose your first three colonists. Ultimately, play RimWorld the way you want to play RimWorld. The reason that I love it is that it's a game of infinite creativity and self expression. There is no one right way to play RimWorld. Do what you want. Hey, you want to throw it into hard mode on your first day? Psh, that's your problem, not mine. I hope you enjoyed this quick little guide. Just some very basic, very elemental information about choosing your colonists when you're starting out in RimWorld. Things I wish someone had told me before my first RimWorld experience. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this. And maybe hit that like button, or dare I say it, even that subscribe button. And check out some of the other guides in the series. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you next time. You know what, kids? I'm the camp counselor who's going to teach you the truth. All right? None of this manby-pamby kumbaya nonsense. All right? We are learning the truth here. The truth is death and disappointment and theft. Basically, I did the theft. Everything else is on you. Robot, how do we rescue you? I, I don't... I don't know how to rescue you. I'm also not sure I ever knew you were a woman. So, once again, the fish are on fire. And, uh, you're on fire. Isabella is in fact on fire. The YouTube award ceremony for the best YouTubers of the time. I think this may be a mild exaggeration. I look like I'm paralyzed with fear and or hunger up on stage there. 